facilities like the National Park. Warm welcome, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Thank you very, very much, everybody. Good afternoon. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. I think we're very, very lucky this afternoon, don't you? Yeah. We're, we're not only, in, in, in my humble opinion, as, as Mayor of London, in the greatest city on earth, which it is, more museums than Paris, and all free, yes? A quarter of the murder rate of New York, by the way, and uh, it's come down by 25% in the last four years, to pick a period entirely at random. Uh, but we're also in... Do you know this? They told me on, on, the, on the way, we're also in one of the most improved schools in the whole of London. Not only the greatest city on earth, but in one of the best schools in the whole of that city. And I really congratulate you. I congratulate you. Everybody, everybody involved in, uh, you know, people, people said it was extraordinary. I, I was getting a, a long briefing on, on the way here from people who knew about this place, but it absolutely blew my mind. I mean, you've got a school of mechanics with real cars, you've got, what else have you? You've got a theatre, you've got a broadcast studio, you've got TV, you've got radio, horticulture, hairdressing, thank you very much. And I've been offered, someone offered me a, 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 a go in the hairdressing, or someone offered, someone offered to, to take care of them, and maybe, since, since uh, an election is fast pressing, that might very, very well be a good idea. But uh, you've also got a theatre. Did I mention the theatre? Yeah. yeah. I mentioned that. The second already. time. <laughs> What's that? The second time. The second time. You've got a fantastic theatre. And you've got two theatres. <laughs> and quite, <laughs> quite. And you have, got, you have got quite the most stupendous sports hall, the most capacious sports hall I think I've seen. And I, as I look at this sports hall, I wonder why we went to such trouble to build that basketball court in Stratford. And when we look, we, this is, why did we, why did we spend 9.3 billion on some of those sites? In fact, when we have an amazing venue here, it is a quite fantastic uh, sporting venue. And I'm very pleased to, to discover that today, you're getting loads of Olympic tickets, aren't you? Yes? Yes, I think about 100, 130, something like that, 130, maybe, maybe a few more, 130, uh, 40 tickets coming to this school, and I hope that, that those tickets will motivate all of you, everybody at the school, to take part in sport in one way or another, and believe me, it doesn't matter if you don't win. It doesn't matter if you fail. And I speak as somebody who, uh, you know, I'm a conservative politician, so I know all about failure <laughs> one of my own in the last 20, 30 years. Uh, I know all about coming. I once entered the school swimming competition, I want you to know. Uh, I once entered the school swimming competition without realising that you had to be able to stick your head in the water. And I couldn't do that at the time because I had grommets. Do you know about grommets? I couldn't, and I, and I, I, I remember I came last. I came last, I thrashed, and I, I thrashed around like a porpoise, and I came last by miles. And my teacher said to me, he said, Johnson, that's what he called me. <laughs> my name, he said, Johnson, why did you do that? when you knew you were going to come last. And I said, because it seemed to me to be better to try than not to try. And he said, well, I, I guess that's some kind of a philosophy. <laughs> and then he walked. But I think it's right, isn't it? Yep, yep, it's yep. fundamentally right. And I know when I look at this fantastic sports hall that it is going to produce future champions, isn't it? And I hope the people who learn how to do sport in this sports hall will not only discover the joys of athletic failure, as I have done, but will also, will also taste the sweet taste of success as well. And I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Congratulations to everybody on what you've done. Well done, the teachers. Well done, the parents, on uh, everything you've done to mobilise and get this fantastic. Well done, the council, by the way, and the governors, on getting this school complete on time, under budget. Yes? Congratulations, everybody. And I now have great pleasure. I now have great pleasure in declaring. Here we go. Yeah. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to declare it. Hang on. What are we going to do? <laughs> Come on. Yep, yep, yep. No, no, I'm going to open this. I'm going to, I'm going to cut the dribble. <laughs> No, 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 man. No, no, no. You're really going to say, come on. <laughs>
Are you ready? Sorry. Are you ready? Big and small. Sorry, come here. Are you, are you the, which, which, which team are you? I'm not sure. And now I have great pleasure in declaring this fantastic Stanley Park High Sports Hall. Is this a sport? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic Stanley Park High Sports Hall. Possibly the most wonderful sports hall I've seen anywhere outside the Olympic Park, even more open than it was four weeks ago. And many congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>